What is good y'all? It is your boy, David, AKA Mr. Hot Chocolate. And we are here with an Eagle Insider, where we look at the various clubs, sports, and activities here at Enlo. And today, guys, we're gonna be looking at the Enlo wrestling team. Let's get right into it. When I walked in, there was a certain energy to the room. A lot of these guys are multi-sport athletes, including these two linemen. Gotta make sure I bring extra syrup to the games next year. I had to take the opportunity to talk to this Enlo legend and the main man in charge. We are here with Coach Bailey, the wrestling coach here at Enlo. Uh, coach Bailey, with wrestling being arguably one of the hardest sports in high school athletics, what does it take to be a wrestler? Okay, so uh, wrestling is, is, is tough. Uh, you gotta be dedicated to the sport. You gotta have knowledge of the sport and hard work. Nothing's easy about wrestling. Some some people have to change their diet. Some people have to uh, get stronger during the off season. But the trick of it is just stay with it and make sure that you're doing everything each and every day to make yourself better. Make yourself a better competitor. It just takes drive. And everything that you do in wrestling applies to life. Like so when you finish with the mat, you're wrestling no more. Wrestling is gonna make you get over the obstacles that's gonna come later down the road. You have to get a job, you have to fill out a college application, or you get stuck in a class where you're having problems in. It's gonna make you tougher to never say, I'm never gonna quit. That's what wrestling's all about, never quit. I know people are gonna think you're exaggerating on wrestling applying to life, but it's called martial arts for a reason. It's a lifestyle. Now, Coach Bay, Tell us a bit about yourself. Okay, so um, I actually graduated from Enlo, class of 95, four year wrestler here. Um, my record was 121 wins, 16 defeats, and one tie. Um, I've always been a competitor. I always believed in hard work. I always had a good work ethic. This is my third season with Enlo. I've got three kids to the state tournament. Two kids last year, Elliot Hollis and Aaron Hollis. First time in a long time that we had multiple kids participate in the state level tournament. So I brought that passion back, that pride, that eagle pride. So we're not just saying we're proud to be an eagle, we actually are. So um, I gave these kids confidence to actually be able to put their self on the line and take credibility for their own actions. Um, just be accountable for what they do right and what they do wrong. So I'm not just a coach, I'm also a mentor. All right, thank you, Bailey. All right, I am here with two of the wrestling captains, Elliot Hollis and Grady Mock. All right, guys, tell us, what does it mean to be a wrestler? Well, I mean, wrestling's all about hard work and dedication. It sounds like a cliche, but it really is one of the hardest sports out there. You know, we run a whole bunch and we get in the mat room and we work really hard. You can see how sweaty I am now, but it's all about being dedicated to yourself, being dedicated to the team and just working your butts off so you can get better. Wrestling's a lot about not quitting. It teaches you to be a better version of yourself and how to overcome obstacles and challenges to reach the goal. All right, what's some of the conditioning you guys do to prepare for your match? So we run a lot, uh, normally do about three to four miles on a regular basis, sometimes go up to five. The longest I think we ever did was seven miles without stopping. That was quite a day. Yeah. A lot of running, a lot of hills. Then we do a lot of stuff like push-ups, uh, core workouts, weightlifting. And running then, uh, stairs. Running a lot of stairs. And then our main workout is in the mat room, practicing our technique and learning all the new moves. All right, thank you for your time.